test is going for the JB Weld lid. Um, before we do that though, uh, I'm going to clean up my workspace here. Yeah, is that awesome or what? Anyway, uh, here's the deal. Uh, I put the cell, the modified smack booster in there, the one that has extra plates on it with a 316L stainless steel. Uh, you can see here, uh, I am using the uh, JB Weld lid. And when I touch, and it was, I, let me start out by saying this. I started out running this at 21 amps, and it was like 11.5 volts, and now it's down to 9.44 and it's been running for uh, 31 minutes. Now the cell's really hot, I don't have a temperature gauge. I tried to use a thermometer, you know, like you put in your kid's mouth to see what the fever is and it just reads too high. Um, it's warm, I mean, it's, it's really warm, but, uh, but actually the amount of heat for the, the time that this has been running, which is 32 minutes so far, and it started out at like 21 amps and now it's down to about, uh, to about maybe 15 amps. Um, I am really encouraged about the uh, about the Give it a shot down in there. It's putting out some good gas, that's for sure. Um, haven't done any displacement tests because I don't have the uh, don't have a fill port up here on the lid, as you can see. Um, but I might, uh, I might make another lid, uh, <laughs> maybe adjust the way I, I make it, um, but, and I might invert it so if I have the cell inside, uh, I'll probably have one lid with a, a gas out port on top here and then uh, perhaps, you know, do the test with that and see what happens and then maybe another test where uh, to see if there's a heat problem and if there is still a little bit of a heat problem that I'm concerned with then what I'll do is I'll just use a lid like this invert this system so the uh, terminals are down here on the bottom and then I'll just use another lid uh, with uh, gas output on the top and so that'll keep the terminals submerged and then uh, run it that way. So it's down to about 8.8 wow. And it's been running for 33 minutes and it's down to 14, 14 amps. So I think it's time to I think it's time to, to shut this thing down. So um, but anyway, yeah, that's it. There's some real good gas going on there. Matter of fact, I haven't seen a bubble formation like that uh, with this type of cell. If you can check that out. That's really encouraging, especially with the amount of heat and the time that it's run. And uh, that looks really good. Awesome bubbles. Some real good action there. You can check that out. So anyway, uh, 35 minutes. There it is. And again, that's, uh, the water's a little murky, but it's not bad. But again, this is just tap water with uh, sodium hydroxide. So anyway, that's it and uh, for <coughs> the cell. Let me take a look at the, the JB weld there. Yeah, I can't feel any heat on that JB weld at all at all. It says that stuff's an insulator. Man, that guy wasn't joking. So anyway, JB, hey, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the JB Weld. That's some awesome stuff. So, shrink wraps held up really well. I mean, that's encouraging too. And uh, in case you wonder what this is, this is the pump. And uh, this is just a little bracket that I made so I can mount this thing just in front of the radiator down by the bumper. Uh, thank Barry for kind of pointing that out to me. Uh, appreciate that. And uh, other than that, uh, that's about it. So, good stuff. Peace.